Now, my Thessalonian family, in regard to the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, the time when we will be together with him, don't get upset, excited, alarmed or concerned about some prediction, prophecy or letter supposedly from us claiming that the Lord has already come back. Don't be fooled by any idea like this, because before the Lord returns, Satan will counter everything Christ taught, and a rebellion against God's law of love will occur. A man-made theological system of imposed law will form, and this system, which promotes God concepts outside God's law of love, will be exposed. This man-made system is destined for destruction because it opposes God's design for life and instead exalts a human concept of law and punishment over the way God built things to operate. This distorted view of God will become so accepted and orthodox that it will set itself up in God's spirit temple, the minds of people and it will be proclaimed that God is like Satan in character. Surely you remember how I taught you these things when I was with you. As you know, Satan's power is being held back, but will be loosened when the time is right. But even now, the covert operation to develop a theological system contrary to God's design for life and promoting Satan's distorted view of God is already happening. But this perverse system will not arise until the restraining power lets go, and then the one operating outside of God's design template for life will be revealed. But he will be overthrown by the truth from the mouth of the Lord Jesus and destroyed by the brightness of his coming. The rise of the deviant one will be accompanied by manifestation of Satan's methods and power, counterfeit miracles, signs and wonders, and anything else that deceives and darkens the minds of those who are dying, those who did not develop minds that love the truth and thereby did not partake of the remedy. Because they reject the truth, God leaves them to their delusional world built on lies. All who reject truth and love and prefer lies and selfishness will be diagnosed as terminal and die from their unhealed condition. We always owe our thanks to God for you, my dear ones. The Lord loves you and determined from the very beginning to heal you through the truth, winning your trust so you would open your hearts to experience the transforming work of the Spirit. Through the remedy we brought, God called you to share the perfect character of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, my dear friends, don't get discouraged, but be confident in the truth we have taught you, both in person and by letter. May Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loves us and graciously works to give us never-ending support and confidence, heal your hearts and rebuild your characters in every good trait.